Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you my beginner's guide to SideJet. We will go through some pros and cons. I'll tell you more about this uh, beautiful, beautiful engine and uh, then we'll try to compare the pricing plans if you'll get uh, for what you paid. So let's kick it away and let's start with uh, what's SideJet? SideJet is a high performance uh, website building platform that combines CMS and the project management features. The system was initially developed to meet the need of professional web designers. It comes as a handy instrument to bring to life different customers project and collaborate with uh, customers in real time. Web developers can generate uh, feedback, team up with other specialists, promptly make uh, necessary corrections, and more within a single service. The platform brings a set of capabilities to create a responsive web projects uh, with ease. It's a high performance CMS with robust web design uh, project management capabilities that lets web designers create phenomenal responsive websites fast, while also giving them a platform to efficiently service those uh, websites in. SiteJet helps to create spectacular websites in less time uh, to efficiently manage uh, processes and customer interaction and to other service uh, these websites from all in one place. Well, what's uh, the most like pros of SiteJet? Why you should uh, pick this one? It's a multiple web design project management. Uh, we, uh, they have a automatic uh, website generator, advanced editor with a simplified CMS and a white label feature. Uh, two cons I would go with it's more expensive compared to others. Uh, the lack of widgets and add-ons, no uh, marketplace and uh, limited professional uh, plan features that we will cover in, uh, in pricing a bit later. So let's go and uh, jump in into, into SideJet. As you can see, I already created my account and created my first website. Don't worry, it's so easy. Uh, you won't be even, you, you won't need tutorial, but I'll show you you just click on website, which is in the middle on the right uh, of your screen. Click on create, create website, and let's go with tutorials for everyone, for example, and you just press add. Now we have to pick the template or we can, uh, pick the template or choose it later. It's completely up to you and it's very, very easy. So let's go with something not that busy. Let's go with uh, Kyoto, like a food blogger website. You can uh, check the preview. You can see the about services. If you're into food business, there's a menu that you can cover. And uh, let's say, you are a food blogger or you own a restaurant. So we are going to choose this one. We need to give it a time to basically process uh, all the features of this template. And we see that we just created this template uh, or this website successfully. Now, as you can see, if we click on this link, we can see the preview of our beautiful website. But you can do it the same. And I'll show you how. You see there's a name, you can change it. You can add a contact person. Also mobile phone number, uh, the language, contact email, literally everything you can uh, change. At the moment it's just set uh, to default settings, but you can tweak it around. The CMS part comes uh, in the overview where you can uh, add as many people as your team needs. So 
uh, you can even include your uh, the guy that pays you for creating this website and uh, you can create invitational ring uh, link uh, and all the other options but what we are most interested in are the actions or we can take on our website because as you probably thought this is not what you want it's just template and you need to tweak it around to show you on the left side though we have tickets unassigned uh, mails or uh, messages overdue to do's overdue websites re-engage and all websites that's for you and your employees to micromanage but we want to go to actions on top of the corner and click on edit website straight away as you can see in first steps of uh, uh, this CMS we can go and actually play with the website straight away you can change on top how it will look on different devices desktop ipad or iphone let's go with 11 or desktop and different uh, configurations on this side you see that we have a timer on how for how long we worked on this website undo uh, redo buttons if you want to edit already something that you created and we have a couple of things or basically not just a couple but a lot of things like the menu bar uh, that we can uh, play with so let's go with the menu bar have menu we can change the style different elements also spacing is default but we can go by pixelage we can literally change anything in here we have the image we can with three dots we can uh, add a content we can uh, add a headline we can edit it same goes for every single one for example we go with edit and we can start typing in this header whatever we want to like delicious soup then we can even add a url then we can uh, give their company or name or street whatever we can underscore it and if we are uh, okay we just confirm it same goes with images we can move it and toy around with it it's a beautiful way how we can create our own website now into edit button we can save it save all and so on uh, then design with a theme we can add colors we can remove the colors we can uh, play around with the fonts pages also content we can check the preview how it will look so as you can see we we changed uh, the name of the soup the delicious soup also services and uh, all the other stuff that we can play with for pricing if we want to go in deep and check the pricing we have uh, two options we can pay annually or monthly annually of course or obviously you will save more money than if you are going to pay monthly so let's go with annually it's uh, $15 a month if you're solo uh, then they claim or proclaimed bestseller it's $29 a month for team and uh, it's $8 per month 
uh, per website paid annually and then for agencies it's uh, five dollars per month per website so as you can see even if you are paying more you are actually actually get a sale for uh the websites but then if you're solo you will pay 15 dollars per uh per month also with uh team and agency you have web export uh, mail transfer tool then uh, permissions for three users agency has 10 users which is not actually that much white label tools but a collection of apis it's only for agencies so but if you are a bigger company and uh, you have or you want to access it for more than 10 users yeah you can get the custom quote from them so they, they will tailor you the option for you i strongly recommend you trying it uh, for yourself play around with it give it some time uh, i'm planning to do more videos about uh, sidejet uh, to actually create a website with them so stay tuned if you have any kind of uh, if you have any kind of questions please leave them underneath this video uh, i'll try to answer them as uh, fast as possible thanks for watching and see you in the next video thank you very much and have a great day